Mr. Walker. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Strong move showing up at a BMW shop in a Porsche? You, you know, I, we had just three days of fun with my best friends, so I have no excuses for the car, but you're right. It's a pleasure. Pleasure to see you as always. Well, uh, and I suppose you're not here for Porsche parts. I am clearly not here for anything having to do with Porsches. That's correct. So maybe a, maybe a BMW, maybe a red one? I am so excited about this, you have no idea. Yes, but I have been salivating all week long, <laughs> driving the little white car, but thinking about the little red car. All right. I just can't wait. To, I can't wait to see this thing in person. Well, I think uh, I think we can trade you up, um, Pat. Let's uh, let's get Mr. Walker's car out here. My goodness. <laughs> That's what it needed to be. So this is the car. What it needed to be. This is the car. Tom would be happy. It, um, it's finally back and moving under its own power after eight years of hibernation. Right. This is, you guys, you knocked it out. I mean, you can't tell that he drove it over a parking block to start with. Right. But just the look, the stance, the just the little bits of jewelry you've placed all around the car, it is so well put together. That is a well done car. Awesome. Thank you guys you. did a fantastic job. I love the stance those coilovers put on it. That is, this other car should have been from the factory, right? It should have had this kind of look. Right. Yeah, I love it. You know, obviously fix the front end, um, and I think it looks great. Factory parts gave us some opportunities for upgrades, so CSF coolers in the front. Um, MCS suspension, stop tech brakes. I know you love absolutely. those guys. Brakes, I know you love absolutely, those guys. absolutely, absolutely. The forge line wheels are just sort of like the icing visually for me here. Yeah. Uh, Dave and those guys in Dayton did just a phenomenal job of knocking those out on short notice for us. Right. And oh my goodness, I like them better than the GT3 wheels. Don't say that out loud. Well, you're, I'm but sure you're going to uh, like the car better than uh, the GT3. Well, that's so. entirely possible at this point. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go for a drive. Let's go for a drive. All right. So we've been for a drive. You've, you've, it's marinated just a little bit. Yeah. How right. do you feel? Yeah, I mean, there's some, there's some new things on the car. There's some that just work, and that's just how they, they work. There's some that sound, sound a little better. The car sounds good. It rides differently. So we'll break it down by go, stop, turn, because okay. we affected all those areas, right? Go, right. stop, turn. The go, the intake noise of that Max Chanel intake, oh my gosh. <laughs> it just lights the car up, right? I and mean, that was just beautiful. The throttle response is fantastic. If the sound coming out the back, 
It's BMW V8. What's not to love about that, right? On the stopping side, the pedal feel from the stock loops, Top Tech four wheel big brake kit was phenomenal. And we are running the Pragged brake pads. Um, we got a hook up on that because Tom knows the guy that runs their North American operations. And I'm telling you, the pedal feel was spot on. Firm, responsive, but not so grabby. No noise, no squeal, just fantastic there. And then the turning part, right? This suspension, we didn't really ring it out, right? We're on public roads here today, but my goodness, the responsiveness, the feel, we went firmer, but it didn't kill the ride, right? That MCS adjustable suspension, it soaked everything up. It's not something we created as a track monster that you don't wanna to drive to the track. This seems like a, a dual purpose kind of threat all of a sudden. I mean, it's just all those boxes, check, 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 right? And it just, yeah, driving impression is straight A's, right? Straight A's, go, stop, turn. The car's better in every way. What else do I have to say? Perfect, awesome. There you go. Thank you once again. Absolutely. We're gonna put this thing away for you. Mm -hmm. Ship it back to you to Texas. It needs to uh, be on track in late November. That's its uh, inaugural maiden voyage, whatever you want to call it. We have a track day at Coda lined up. Yeah. So I can't wait to throw this thing around the uh, the Formula One track down there. So we'll uh, we'll put this thing away. We'll we'll uh, work on the shipping arrangements, and then I guess we'll take care of that white thing over there. Yeah, you know, do you have a trade-in policy here? Yeah, there we can. You, go. uh, you know, we got a we got a dumpster. Got a dumpster. Can, yeah. I understand completely. I know, you're a BMW guy It's now, gonna be so. left outside, I can see that coming, but there you go. <laughs> it's an outside car now. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll, we'll tuck it away so nobody has to look at it, so. Fantastic. All right. Fantastic.